If you are a self-taught programmer or you are trying to learn it by yourself by using YouTube videos, Udemy courses, then this video would definitely help you to learn quickly. By using five tips, you can improve your learning very quickly and effectively. I learn most of the thing through self-taught learning process. Self-taught programmer is not an easy route. In comparison to bootcamp classes, online mentorship, where you have everything laid out for you. Whole roadmap is laid out for you and you have to follow each and every step. It's just like the meal is cooked for you and you just have to eat. On another hand, if you want to become a self-taught programmer, then you have to figure out everything for you. And this can be challenging for a lot of people. Normally, I get a lot of messages on LinkedIn that how much time it takes for anybody to learn automation, especially PLC, DCS and SCADA. Answer to this question is not very straightforward. Don't think too much about the timeline that how much time it's going to take for you because it totally depends on your picking power, how effectively you are learning. The best way to understand how much time it takes for you is just to take first step. A lot of people have seen or come across, they are thinking to become an automation programmer for an year, but they are not able to take their first step yet. My advice for you would be to dive into the sea to understand how deep it is. Another very important thing is don't overthink. I've seen many people, they're thinking a lot and they are not taking single action. A lot of people are messaging me on LinkedIn that how much salary they are going to get if they would become an automation engineer. How much is the score for automation engineers in Middle East and Europe? My advice for you is instead of thinking so much about the salary and other things, my advice would be don't ever think about these aspects that how much salary you're going to get. What is the scope of this particular technology? I would simply say you one thing that if you know this craft properly, then the scope is very good and you're going to get very good salary. But if in the case you don't know that, then for sure there would be very less chances that you would grab a good job in a big multinational company because multinational companies are looking for those people who know the actual work. Companies are not looking for those people who are dreaming in a daytime. I've seen many people who are thinking from where to start whether they should start learning PLC first, whether they start with the DCS, whether they start with instrumentation, whether they start with SCADA what sort of the programming language they should target, which brand they should start working first, whether they should start learning Allen Bradley, Siemens, or which specific brand. They are thinking so much about these things and they are not taking a single action. I've come across many messages on LinkedIn asking about whether STL is good, a ladder language is good, or everybody is good for programming PLC and DCS system. So my answer to all of those people who are actually learning PLC in SCADA, it doesn't matter which brand you start with, it doesn't matter which programming language you start with, just start with any. For instance, you can start with Ladder. There's no much bigger difference between different brands. For instance, if you know Siemens, you can easily learn Allen Bradley because there's not a bigger difference. Logic development is same in entire automation devices like PLC, DCS. If you got a skills of converting your thoughts and creating small application, then you are in a good track. If in the case you are thinking so much about these aspects and you're not taking a single action, then for sure you are on a wrong track. As a self-taught programmer, you don't have a luxury of being told from where to start. You should have to figure out everything for yourself. Sources available, there are a lot of YouTube videos that can, that can help you, but you really don't know from where to start. If you are kind of stuck in, in spite of all the guidance, all the guidance which I, have, which I have provided on this YouTube channel, you're not able to figure out, then the only and best way for you is a mentorship. You might have to pay a little fees, but in reward, you would get everything structured for you. The meal would be cooked. You just have to properly eat on a time. If in the case you know one programming language, if you know one brand, then for sure you can work on other brand. If you know one programming language, you can quickly learn other programming languages. No matter how smart you are. To grow in automation career, it's important to network with the right people. Sound yourself with, with like-minded people. 
and for sure you have to connect on LinkedIn and connect with different recruiters if in the case you want to get a good job. For your information, most of my jobs which I have acquired till date, I got it through LinkedIn. Apart from LinkedIn, you can join different forums like for instance Siemens. Siemens website is one of the great resources to learn. Like that, there are a lot of forums, there are a lot of groups on Facebook, you can join and learn through that. Another thing which I've been asked many times, I'm 40, I'm 50, whether I can give it a start to learn programming, my answer is yes. It doesn't matter how old you are, if you're passionate about it and you're willing to take a risk and you want to put an effort every day, then this field is for you. It doesn't matter what is your age, you can definitely excel. I have seen many programmers will give it a start and when they start learning PLC programming or DCS programming, initially they struggle a lot, they fail a lot. And I've seen many people who actually fed up and give up on their dreams. It is normal for everybody. I've, I've explained this concept in many videos that initially you would definitely struggle. So this struggle, it's part of the whole game. If you would struggle, that's an indication that you are learning, provided if you are putting effort every day. It would take time. Sooner or later, you are going you are gonna gain success, which would which would last forever. These are a few tips and tricks which can definitely help you if you are trying to become a self-taught programmer by using these five skill sets, five important tips you can improve and you can learn quickly as compared to those people who are not following these tips and tricks. With that, I would conclude today's session. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. If in the case you haven't subscribed this YouTube channel, consider subscribing. Until next video, take care and Allah Hafiz.